Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Voltage 4225 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel by Dutchman RV. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside of the RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Dutchman Voltage 4225 Toy Hauler 5th Wall here. Beautiful layout here. We're gonna start back here in the back side and we'll kind of work our way forward for you. So stepping back here into the garage area, you walk through a swinging glass door. Little advertisement poster there, just kind of reminding you of some of the things like zero G door, uh, you know, the construction of the RV and some of the key features, seven foot tall slide heights. Uh, it's pretty nice stuff. All right. So here we have a happy jack bed system in the back section back here. So you have a bunk up top and a lower dinette or bed area. I currently have it in seating mode, but it will flip into bed mode as well. This one was also ordered with the three season door in the back. So there are sliding glass doors back there. Uh, forgot the keys to open things up, so unfortunately I couldn't put down the patio for you to see everything. But there is basically what they call a three season wall back there, and it will flip out into patio mode for you as well. Looking up top here, you can see one of your three AC systems. Also a couple speakers up here as well. Now just kind of looking up, there is a TV up there that can swing down and some cabinets as well. There's a half bath behind the wall right here. We'll show you here that in just a second. But that wall is also designed to fold back out of the way and give you more width for your toy. So basically there's a big magnet here, a little pull down handle here and you can bring this back. It'll lock in against the wall. And there's a little latch up there to latch things into place if you want it to. But right here, you do have your actual half bath area. So you have porcelain foot flush toilet, little sink area, and your traditional medicine cabinet all right there. Now, washer dryer is available on this and that would actually go up in the front bedroom closet. You'll see when we get up there. But when you want to put this back into mode, you basically just bring it back around and latch it into place. And then your door closes back. There's awning controls for the rear awning that goes out over the patio. Some light controls, bed controls, your AC control as well. Little LED light strip there above the uh, protective metal. But a nice size garage. We'll put uh, all the specs and stuff down below for you. You have quite a few D-rings in the floor, kind of a rubber mat floor. Does have the sloping entrance as well. A step in from the garage into the kitchen area basically. Really nice, kind of a lighter gray cabinetry in here. Hang down pendant light, turbo exhaust fan. There is a loft up here as well. Have a window back there. That loft is rated for 500 pounds. So you could sleep roughly four people in the back plus one in the loft. So we're basically sleeping five people just in the rear end of the RV so far. You have the large Insignia oven, has the glass front light up uh, oven, and it has the little lights above the knobs and stuff, four burner gas stove top. You also have your large high point microwave. The cabinet doors seem nice and solid. They do have the little soft close hinges and magnetic catch holders as well. High-rise spring sprayer faucet, and then they do have a 
pull down roller shade as well. Large undermount sink. Right here is an electric outlet and you'll notice you'll see these little lightning bolt features right here. Those are basically telling you that will work off the inverter that's on the RV. So if you have a couple good batteries, um, you can basically plug in some items throughout the RV as needed if you're a boondock camper. Now obviously you have your generator already on board. You could fire that up if you really had to. Lots of storage down below. Drawer wise, you have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Top one, just a little bit shorter than the bottom one, but. Refrigerator wise, you have a 110 volt residential refrigerator. Apparently Norcold decided they didn't want to make the big gas electric refrigerators anymore and stopped doing them here in America. So a lot of the RV manufacturers have had no choice but to go to residentials or 12 volts when it comes to the really large refrigerators. Uh, some of the guys like Dometic are still making the six and eight cubic foot refrigerators that work on uh, propane, but they are apparently being phased out of the RV industry, it feels like. So right now, this is what you got coming on just about everything that is a large refrigerator. Big pantry over here. And these shelves here are technically removable. So if you wanted to use that closet for something else, you could. Now we have three power theater seats here. And there's little USB charger ports and cup holders in each arm but you could sit six people here pretty comfortably. So you're sleeping two in the master bedroom and roughly five at the most back here in the back, unless you throw an air mattress in the garage too or something. Um, so you could roughly sleep about seven people and seat six people pretty comfortably. Get you some little TV stands or something for little TV trays uh, so you could sit in here and eat. You do have a 40 inch electric fireplace. Just above that, you have your IRV technology stereo and an Insignia TV. Couple speakers up here in the ceiling and you also have that ducted AC in the middle. Cabinets here, quite a bit of cabinet space, but it's probably, I'd say about five and a half inches deep, maybe five or six inches deep, roughly. Now going up into the bedroom and bathroom area, your master bath area, you have a couple steps to take you up there. There's an electric box with breakers and fuses here, turbo exhaust fan controls, your on-demand water heater controls. Then right here, we have things as far as 12 volt tank heaters for winter camping, generator hour meter and start stop button, fuel gauge for that. Some light switches, slide switches, awning controls, just has two awnings on the side and one on the back. So three awnings, one of the controls is in the garage. Uh, water pump, some light switches and your holding tanks all read out right here. And then you can connect Bluetooth with your smartphone. We're gonna step into the bedroom area and then we'll kind of spin our way back around. So we have an east-west kind of camper king bed here. Some models will have a north-south bed as well, depending on the floor plan you're looking at. The bed will raise up. There's some storage underneath. You have a little bit of room on each side, little end tables on each side, the windows open on each side as well. Now, at the foot of the bed, you have all kinds of room here to you know, stand up, move around, get dressed, all that type of stuff. So lots of room at the foot of the bed, little snug on the sides of the bed. The 
closet area up here. You have shelf space that goes all the way across, so probably about eight foot of shelf space across here. Then you have room here to where you could do kind of a side-by-side -side washer dryer if you want, or hanging closet if you don't do the washer dryer stuff. Now you have roughly four doors that kind of slide across, opening up the sides. And you have pull-out drawers down below as well. But really nice size closet overall. Big window there overlooking the awning side of the RV. You have your dresser area over there, TV hookups and stuff. That third AC up here. Sliding door to block your bedroom and bathroom off from each other right there. Shower wise, you have a very large shower. Just a step-in shower, has the glass enclosure, sit-down seat that flips up and down, adjustable shower bar, skylight up above. Vent fan up here, traditional large medicine cabinet there, a little bit of counter space in there, and some drawers. But there is enough room to kind of get in and out of that bathroom and get dressed without having to worry about stepping into the bedroom to do so. Look at it from this direction here. So you have that porcelain foot flush toilet. All right, I wanna head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Voltage 4225 by Dutchman RV here. Uh, we're gonna start here in the front, kind of work our way around. So first things up, we have a fiberglass front cab. It does have an LED light strip across the top and some little V strips on each side. There is some paint involved in the cap along with some vinyl deca uh, decals. They do have a little light right here pointing down at your hitch. Also has the upgraded Kurt Rotoflex pen box, which helps with a lot of chucking. This was ordered with the generator feature as well. So you have a Onan 5,500 watt generator. Back up inside there's a couple battery disconnects, some of the guts of the wiring of the RV for your batteries and stuff as well. The unit has a six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system on it. So you have two jacks in the front, two in front of your axles, and then two more behind the axles you'll see when we get back there. Now looking down the side, you have a white fiberglass exterior, some vinyl decals, and then you also have a black lower metal skirting. They are currently using a deep tent safety glass window that is the frameless look on the outer part of the window. There is prepping right here for a portable solar panel, and it does have a solar panel already on the roof as well. One of your two 30 pound propane tanks. There's one on this side, one on the other side. You'll see when we get over there. Pretty good size pass through storage here. On the left, you have some light controls and you also have an electric outlet here. Now over here on the right, you have things back in there uh, as far as your inverter, uh, generator changeover box. There's also a solar charge controller here as well. And you can also see that little light strip there. Some of the aluminum tube framing of the construction of the RV as well. Furnace exhaust out right here. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV adjustable arms for tilting, and then it does have a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. They are currently using the more ride entrance step here. It's rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet. 
uh, flips back inside the doorway. Traditional RV entry door and screen door. This does have the window in it and it is Lippert Thin Shade ready, so there's an aftermarket shade you can buy to go in there. Now, one thing that is a little different on the front door, it does have a touch keypad set up to lock and unlock your deadbolt, but for the handle lock, you still have to use a key. If you lock both, be very careful, make sure you got your keys out of there. Electric outlet back in behind here. Large folding entry handle here. You can see down below one of your jacks, and next to that jack is a gas port where you could plug in a portable grill if you wanted to. Speaker above the entry door right there, and then while we're looking up here, you can see this has a slide-out awning cover over top of the slide room. That helps repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, and things like that also helps shade the room as well so it doesn't heat up as bad in the summer. Now just kind of looking down here, you can see this is a triple axle unit. And in between the axles, you have the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension. It's a nice upgrade for the uh, suspension system. Basically, kind of acts as a little bit of a shock absorber for RVs. Step back here so you can see a little bit better. On the side here, there's a second awning back here. Again, power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body, manual override in case of an electronic failure. You have another speaker above that entry door as well. Now back here, they use a traditional hover style step. Quad entrance step, has the aluminum tread plates on it, and basically this is rated for 300 pounds. They use this step instead of the step like on the front because when this step on the front flips up, it takes up some space in your garage area and they don't want you to lose any width in the garage area. So they basically use this style here. Down below here, you can see there's a light down here, but that's also where the crank is to crank down your spare tire as well because the spare tire is mounted up underneath the bottom of the RV. That little uh, silver rectangle there is a side vent. Now you do have the ramp patio on this that would come down and opens up a whole little railing kit and there's an awning on the back as well. So you could kind of chill out back here. There's a couple docking lights up high and then it also has the uh, backup camera built into the top up there. So it's already pre-done by the factory. Works off an app, which would connect to your smartphone, allowing you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road. This is the More Ride Zero G ramp door. So you don't see that big spring along the bottom. This is a much easier door to open and close. It also even has the support feet for it. So besides cables, you have support feet built in as well. Not a lot of brands do the support feet, they just give you cables. Portable ladder here. Uh, this ladder right here, or sorry, permanently mounted ladder here. Uh, this ladder right here kind of folds up against the body of the RV and then folds out a little bit, giving you room for your feet. That ladder is rated for 250 pounds to help you get up and down on and off your roof. Very, very important to get up there from time to time to make sure that you check your seams and seals up there. Also, you can get up there to clean the dirt and dust off your solar panel so it works properly as well. There's two fuel stations. So you'll see two separate fill-ups right here, one for the toys and then one for your generator. And there's a fuel gauge and everything there and a fuel pump here as well. Also, there's a dump back here for your half bath. Just above that rear tire, little black circle, is a black tank flush right there. You use that to clean out the toilet tank. There is also another silver rectangle up there. That is another side vent. Just in front of your jack right there is your secondary dump. And there's a dump handle down there for the fresh water tank as well. That fresh water dump, you have two dumps for that as you have larger water capacity here. But you can see the white handle here on the left, another one over there on the right. 
because there's technically two fresh tanks tied together. Generator exhaust out right here. On-demand water heater right there and your power cord hookup right here. 50 amp electric service, detachable cord. Production date sticker has things on here as far as like unloaded vehicle weight. This one right here says it was 16,200 pounds. Has a gross vehicle weight of 20,000 pounds. You have three 7,000 pound axles. ST23580R16 G range tires, 110 PSI cold. Very important to make sure you keep up with your tire pressure. Right here we have our docking station. So you have things as far as a couple dump handle pulls right here. Black tank flush, city water inlets, uh, bypass, gravity fill fresh water tank, cable outlets, electric outlets, a motion light. Over on this side is your jack controls as well. And you can see that power cord rolled up in there as well. Right here we have the other 30 pound propane tank. And you have your auto changeover regulator with the little switch up there as well. But overall, a very nice, large, heavy-duty toy hauler here. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch my RV videos here real quick. And please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.